Good afternoon. I'm not on your program, but I'm Ian Wardropper, the director of the Frick Collection. Really glad to welcome you all today. We have a waiting line outside, so people will be drifting in in the next few minutes, but that's a very good sign of interest in this symposium. Um, I'm pleased to thank Inga Reist and her team at the Center for the History of Collecting for putting together such a rich and varied program for the symposium. It's called The Americas Revealed, Collecting Colonial and Modern Ameri uh, Latin American Art in the United States. I'm deeply grateful to many sponsors for this event who are numerous and uh, whom I know Inga is going to uh, identify and thank individually in a few minutes. Um, I want to note on this occasion that uh, I'm aware of a really essential advisory role that the symposium's distinguished keynote speaker, Edward Sullivan, has played in developing the program and indeed is an important voice in this field uh, since I first knew him as a graduate student 40 years ago. Um, this symposium, like several before it, declares by its very subject matter that the intellectual reach of the center goes well beyond that of the Frick Collection and the Frick Art Reference Library, putting our institution in contact with new constituencies of specialists, specialists and broader audiences of art collectors and art lovers. For this occasion, both today and tomorrow, we will have the enormous privilege of hearing directly from collectors who have built significant collections of Spanish colonial and modern Latin American art in our own time. And uh, this too, like the Center's oral history program for living collectors, enables our institution to be actively engaged with the art scene of today. So I'm grateful indeed to Roberta and Richard Huber uh, and Patricia uh, Phelps de Cisneros for agreeing to be interviewed by Edward Sullivan. And now I'm very pleased to turn the proceedings over to Inga. Thank you, Ian, so much for opening uh, the proceedings. Uh, I think you all know who I am. I'm Inga Rees, director of the Center for the History of Collecting here at the Frick Collection and Frick Art Reference Library. And I'd like to add my warm welcome to all of you and thank you for uh, coming out in what might be the elements, isn't yet, and uh, on this afternoon that, that may not be so clement. Uh, so here we are raising the curtain on the 13th uh, symposium that our center has organized, The Americas Revealed, Collecting Colonial and Modern Latin American Art in the United States. And I too would like to thank um, the many people and organizations that stepped forward to support this event, with special thanks to Mauro Herlitzka, who through Producción Latinoamericana facilitated so much of the support that we received. So heartfelt thanks to the Institute for Studies on Latin American Art, Isabella Hutchinson and Diego Gradozic, Tanya Capriles Brillenburg, Antonio Bechara, and Diana L. Beatty, who so kindly gave her donation in memory of our beloved trustee, Walter Everstadt. I would also be terribly remiss if I did not express my enduring thanks to the, my colleagues at the center, its two assistant directors, Samantha Deutsch and Esme Quadbach, for whom really no detail of the planning is too small to attend to with a smile. Hosting a symposium on collecting Spanish colonial and modern Latin American art has been on our minds more or less since the f day we launched the center in 2007. Our advisory committee was encouraging us to address the topic, and others too kept noting the meteoric rise in interest in these categories of art during the past several decades, in the marketplace, in the museum, and in university programming. But as Ian noted, um, this area of study lies just a little outside the Frick's own comfort zone. Uh, so uh, as much as we wanted to engage the collectors and specialists in this field, we knew that we needed a guide to help us navigate what were for us uncharted waters. In essence, we needed a leader in the field who not only knows the subject backward and forward, having played a formative role, shaping it through teaching, curating exhibitions and publications, but also who knows the people whom we should have invited to participate. Happily, Edward Sullivan agreed to be our guide, and I can't thank him enough for all the time, thought, and wisdom he has given to us in the planning uh, of this gathering. So now, without further ado, I will introduce our distinguished speaker. 
Edward Sullivan is the Helen Gould Shepherd Professor of the History of Art at New York University's Institute of Fine Arts and Department of Art History, where he's currently acting chair. His interests are in the arts of the Hispanophone, Lusophone, and Francophone nations of the Americas in the modern era. He is the author of over 30 books and catalogs on Latin American art. His most recent books uh, include The Language of Objects in the Art of the Americas, published in 2007, Continental Shifts, The Art of Edward Duval Carey, also in 2007, Nueve York, 1613 to 1945, an edited volume from 2010 uh, and uh, from the San Juan and, pa and from San Juan to Paris and back, Francisco Oyer and Caribbean Art in the Era of Impressionism, which is to be published this summer by Yale University Press. In addition, Edward has curated many exhibitions in museums in the United States and Latin America, as well as Europe throughout his career. Among the most recent, have been Fragile Demon, Juan Soriano in Mexico, 1930 to 1950 for the Philadelphia Museum of Art, Observed, Milagros de la Torre for the Americas Society and the Museo de Arte de Lima, and the forthcoming exhibition on Francisco Oyer and Caribbean art, which he is co-curating with Richard Asti, who I'm happy to say is in our audience, from the Brooklyn Museum, and that will take place in 2015. This afternoon, Edward will frame the issues of our symposium with his keynote address, Observations on the Myths and Magic of Collecting Latin American Art in the United States. Please join me in giving Edward Sullivan a warm welcome. Thank you.